Hey guys, Allison here with Mr. Bear. Just wanted to do an updated training video since he's almost 10 weeks old now. Uh, just to kind of show you guys where we're at with his training. He is doing so good. He's super eager to please, super sweet. He is almost 13 pounds now. Yes. His neck size is just under 10 inches. So if you guys are looking at getting a collar for him, that's where we're at right now. I'm going to show you where we're at with our training, the commands that he knows. Uh, the hand signals and kind of explain a little bit of the reasons we train some of the ways that we do. You'll hear me say this over and over in videos, but I just like to kind of make sure everybody understands and, and it's, you know, super important that we train Mr. Bear, but it's just as important that we train you guys on how to continue training him. Obviously, we'll have a more detailed video for you guys to have to learn to train before he goes home, but I do like to do these videos so that you can kind of see where we're at with our training this little goofy guy yes you are you are so cute all right bear you want to show them you want to show them what you know all right all right you'll see we have different commands and hand, hand signals that we use so for example we have where are you at you got sit so sit is when i do my hand just like that fist when i call bear to come I'm going to drop my hand. Sometimes I'll have a piece of food in it. Sometimes I won't. But I want Bear's nose to touch my hand every time. And I'll show you why. Bear, come. Good. The reason for that is that if I ever need to grab Bear's collar, I've got him right here. So let's just say, for example, we're, we're at a park where there's cars coming around, another dog, and we need to get a hold of our dog pretty quick. We won't really call him to come. We want them to come all the way to us. We don't want them coming towards us. We're in a panic. We're going to them. We scare them. Anyway, so we want them to come all the way. So when we train them to come to us, we train them to touch their nose to our hand. We start by training with a piece of food in our hand. We then eliminate the food. Sometimes we add it back. So right now, no food. Bear come. He still touched his nose to my hand. He then goes to go straight to the sit. And you're going to hear me clicking pretty quick here because what we are training there is patient up and to not get up until he is released. You will see that he's quickly turning to try to get back to his board over there because he thinks that's what he's supposed to do next. So you'll see a big difference between this and our 12-week video. But he is staying because the click reminds him that, hey, I'm doing what I'm supposed to, and I'm going to get rewarded. Okay, so no click. Off he goes. There you go. Sit. Good. And we're going to stay in our sit command because we want him to learn patience. You're trying your best to get back. Ah. Good. Oh boy. Okay, place. Yes. All right, so place is this little cart that we have. Obviously, as he gets a little bit bigger, uh, you're going to need a bigger one. Um, but with place right now, we have to show them where that is. Um, he is the best at knowing that we can say place from pretty much anywhere in this room, and he's going to run over to it. It is his favorite command and his favorite place to be. All right. So right now I'm rewarding him. You'll hear that I'm clicking because he is staying on his place Good. until he's released. So unless I call him or give him the release command, which is okay, and okay just means, hey, Bear, you can run around, you can do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> you can be a little puppy dog. Yes, you can. You don't even have to do anything. But he's trying to figure out how to get his next snack. Uh, with this, you'll see I'm giving him a lot of treats. It's not treats. We don't feed lunch. We feed breakfast and dinner, and then we fill this pouch up with each puppy with the amount of food that they would get for lunch. We use that for training and to mark good behaviors. So that is why he is getting, he's getting one piece at a time. So he's basically earning his lunch and becoming a better puppy dog. Yes, you are. All right, so we're going to do stay. We're going to do short distance, and we're going to add on that. Stay. So with stay, we hold up our hand like a stop sign. Oh boy, there. We're going to say stay. And you'll see every time I tell him to stay, I come back and reward him. So I don't want to teach them to stay at this age to be so eager to get off this cot to get to me. 
So it stay. I want them to trust that, hey, as long as I stay put, Allison's going to come back today, and she's going to reward me for this behavior. I don't have to do anything. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. And okay just means he's free to run around and do whatever he wants to do. This age, they don't completely grasp that. They will learn. You will learn that okay and we tap our leg means you're free. Because I want him to only get up and stop doing what's asked of him when he's released. We still want him to be a puppy, run around, do what he wants, but we want him when he's asked to do something, especially when he's full grown, that he does it until we release him from it. So, okay. He doesn't have to do anything. He can stay there. He can lay down. He can do whatever, and he will learn. Like I said, that means I don't have to do anything. Oh, boy. Good boy there. Sit. Good. You going to stay sitting for me? This is so hard for you. <laughs> I think he's just trying to trick me. Well, I see what you're doing there. You're making me think you're going to go back over there. Oh, you did. Good boy. Good boy. So I didn't have to say anything. So our fist like this means sit. We're going to drop our hand. Bear, come. Sit. Good. Yeah. 